Okay, this is a, a quick overview of the outside of the van. We'll start at the back. Um, spare tire, antenna for the radio inside. Um, all your poles are kept in here, or if you get an annex, they are full length. Um, so we opted for the barbecue. Which meant this hatch had to be bigger. You see by the front, just comes onto the white, and this is over the top of the white, and right down to the bottom, the reflector has to be moved. Two burner gas barbecue. bayonet had to get bayonet moved to the back uh, also opted for picnic table 30 kilos it holds or something then you got a cigarette lighter plug that's a tv antenna which we won't be using I decided to leave it there power outlet when you're plugged into mains the lights um, and where your step folds up um, latch for the door holds in there this is really a two-handed job if I've unlocked it which I probably haven't so these are all, the outside hatches are all the same key. So you don't have to change keys or anything. It was unlocked. Definitely a two-handed job. There we go. So, let's sort of, um, uh, cupboard door folds down into the walkway fairly long space keep the annex in there um, these are side uh, sail tracks that we had put on for the annex um, that's your your normal one that you can get they're made with the vans made with them there's also a small one on the back <clears throat> from there down Uh, this is the cruise liner, so it's got the boot section on it. Fiberglass. Very large. Your jacks down there and your poles for winding your legs up and so forth. Two four litre gas bottles. Uh, removable jockey wheel. I wanted the fold up one, they don't do it. Got the two chains, all this is standard on the front besides the level engage. Another drawer on the side, same size as the other one. Um, we've got a 12 volt fridge, not the three way, but they leave the vents in there. I guess it's standard, which isn't an issue. Um, shower comes standard um, this is in a bag you got to attach those little clips in there you can attach it to and then when you unfold your shower head so you can sit in there like that you have a shower out the side um, you set them to what you want and then you just pull the handle and the water comes out don't have to do that every time there's your cord holder I'm not sure exactly the length of cord, but there's a fair bit. There's still a little bit left in there. Hot water system, vents. Um, water filling, only one spout, despite the two tanks that you have. 
they fitted this to it from factory um, and then said to leave it because apparently it's hard to seal or something. Little mesh thing in there that's actually your air vent for your tanks to allow the air to escape. This one here is a vent for the battery um, because they come standard with a lead acid battery and I've changed it to a sealed AGM battery. Uh, and then it's the back. Uh, put a lock on the, comes with a hole inside that thread. You can fit a padlock to stop anyone pinching your tire. And that's basically it. So plenty of storage, easy accessible. Um, and I'll do another one underneath later. Thank you.